help of Hashem, we are learning Psachim Daf Kuf Aleph. We're going to start the sugya of Kiddush B'Makim Su'udah, even though we already mentioned it in the Toysvah and Kuf. But here we're going to learn that Rav does not subscribe to the need of making Kiddush in the location where you, li- where you will be having a meal. Shmuel says Kiddush is B'Makim Su'udah, and as we know, we paskin like Shitas Shmuel. We will also clarify from our sugya, from Psachim Kuf Aleph, that the meal does not need to be bread, even though many times a Su'udah does mean bread. Here, any product from the five grains and bid the Eved even another cup of wine is sufficient su'uda for you to say that the Kiddush was the Makim su'uda. we will also be learning from Psachim Kuf Aleph the sheet of the Mardachai this is the big Machlekes of Rishayim that one is not allowed to make Kiddush in the dark interesting then if there's no light it's not that it's lacking only in the Shalom bias. You can't make Kiddush over there. We're going to learn the sheet of Rabbi Yechanan. And that will be the second big topic of today, of Kuf Aleph. Whether moving locations during a meal will necessitate you to make another Bari Priyagof. And happens to be that the Hashgach HaPratos, for those of us who are learning Shulchan Aruch, Kuf Ayin Dalet, especially Kuf Ayin Ches. We mamas just learned these dinim. And it's so complex. And all of it comes from, uh, from, the, from today's daf, from Kuf Aleph. Moving locations, like when a person has a meal and they're masich das, they interrupt the meal, then they want to keep on eating, they have to make a new bracha prior. Is changing a location considered hesach das or not? And one of the important nuances that the Gemara explicitly speaks about, which is as follows, there are certain food types that after you ate it, if you erroneously left, you have to return lachatchilo to bench. What are those food types? That's a big machloik, as Rishonim. We're going to learn that Ashbam, any food for which you have to make benching or even only me'en gimel, including wine, you have to make it ala gefen. If I had it here and I left, I have to come back. Now, if I didn't come back, if I will drink more in my new location, then I can bench over there, ala michya. If I did not come back and I ate more bread over there, then I can bench over there. But you have to let come back. We're going to see how those food types will change, will have an effect on the din of whether, whether you move to a new location, whether you do have to make a new bracha prior, because leaving a location is like Hesach Hadas, or other food types, these dinim, those which for which you don't have to, re- but you don't have to return, it is a Hesach Hadas. If you do have to return, then moving locations is not a Hesach Hadas, as we'll explain. And at the end, we're going to have a very important machlekes, Rab Chizda and Abshashis. Let's see how far we can get. And without any further ado, Chavra, three lines at the end of the third line before Kufa Midbase, says the Gemara, I want you to know that there was a minig, as do many Ashkenazim have Ad Hayoyim Hazeh. And that is, is that they made Kiddush Friday night in Shul. Now we that are Zoycha, we have Batei Chabad, of course we make Kiddush because we serve a meal. That's beautiful. I'm speaking about shuls that don't serve garnish. But they still make Kiddush. Now the problem is, is that Kiddush has to be Memakam Su'uda. So is that a problem or not? So says the Gemara, Oysam B'nei Yadam. Those people. Shekichu Bebeis HaKnesses. B'chal Toysavis, we're going to learn quickly at Toysavis. How can you B'chal make Kiddush in a Beis HaKnesses? You're not allowed to eat or drink in a Beis HaKnesses. We'll see that in a moment. They make Kiddush Friday night. Omarav Yidei Yayin Lo Yotzu. Now Rash, Rashbam's version was inverted. Like, guys, we have to read the Rashbam. Rashbam, eight lines before the bottom of the Amit. When they come home, they have to make another Bari Priyagafen. Why? I, they heard Yayin and the Beis Haknesses. You know what that's worth? Nothing. Why? Why? Forget about the Kiddush part. Because since they left their location, they went to a new place. That is like a hesachadas v'tzarech levareich. That's din number one. Back inside the Gemara, yidei yain lo yatsu. However, yidei kiddush yes yatsu. Now Rashbam had that second. So here the Rashbam is twelve lines before the bottom of the Amid. Yidei kiddush yatsu means afa pishulay sasu. Even though you didn't drink. And even though the one who made it didn't taste anything, the Kaimel on the Makadosh Tarek Shi'itoim, Im Loi Talam Ela Echamim Yatsi Dei Kolam Chayvasim Kamachav Erovin. 
Right? So first of all, the whole Rashbam over here, when someone makes Kiddush, does everyone have to taste of the wine? So Rashbam writes that no, only one has to have the wine. However, Lechatchila, it's better for everyone to taste it. Correct? And if at least one person tasted the wine, says Rav, you don't have to make Kiddush in your home. We're not speaking about a married guy. You were Yoitz the Kiddush. Big Kiddush. Why? The Loi Boy Rav Kiddush Mubakim Suda. And therefore, Hilkoch, Afagav, the Loi Achlub of Besaknesis, no one ate there. You were Yoitz. Rav made two statements. Kiddush does not have to be Mubakim Suda. You heard Kiddush, and more than that, Rashbam, when Kiddush is made, we spoke out to Toysavis yesterday about the night of Pesach, whether the four cups are only for the Ani. Because by Kiddush, only the guy who made Kiddush has to drink. It's better for everyone to drink. Regardless, Raf says if Kiddush is made in shul and no one ate anything, Kiddush was fantastic. Now, L'choyde, you also heard the Bode Priyagafen. If you would have consumed more wine in shul, you're good. But since you, were, you changed locations, Raf holds, even though you had in mind to drink more wine at home, changing a house is an interruption of the old meal. Now you're starting a new meal. Hesachadas, you have to make a new bracha. Shmuel says, the Shmuel Amar turns to Afkuf Aleph. Af Yidei Kiddush Loyatsu. Shmuel agrees with Rav that a Shinui Makoim is town to mount to Hesach Hadas for Ibrachis. You have to make a new bracha prior. Number two, you were not Yoitze Kiddush. Why were you not Yoitze Kiddush? Says the Rashbam. Kiddin Mefarshin and Taimel Lekaimen. The Kamei. Right? I already shared from my Rosh Hashiva. Le Kamon is a little bit later. Le Kamei is immediately. It's going to be right here. The Ein Kiddush El Makim Suda. Since it says in Yeshai Vekaras Al Shabbos Oineg, guys, Oineg is like we said, the, the, the source of eating a meal. The Makim Sha'atu Koyrek Le Shabbos, wherever you call out the Shabbos, which means the place where you make Kiddush, where you Koyre, that is where you have the Oineg. So now the Gemara says, El Al Rav. Rav holds that what? That you don't have to make Kiddush at home. So, it looks like that in Bavel, which is the source of Minak Ashkenaz, every shul made Kiddush Friday night. And if you don't need Mamakim Sauda, why didn't people make Kiddush at home? Ah, so, so the Gemara says, which is a very important rule to remember that even though I fulfilled my obligation of Kiddush, including the Hagafen, I am allowed to make Kiddush for another Jew because of the din of Kol Yisrael Arevim Zebozeh. Since I was obligated to make Kiddush, even though now I was Yoitzi, like, and again, in our Chabad house, you make Kiddush, then a Yid walks in, you make Kiddush again, and yet again, the whole Kiddush. So you make Kiddush only for the other Jew in your house. You don't need it. Third line, Ula Shmuel, why do you have to make Kiddush with Beis Kiddush? That doesn't make sense. If Shmuel holds, and Shmuel holds, and we paskin, that ain't Kiddush, I don't want to make so I don't understand, you're not fulfilling your obligation, why are you doing it? Answers the Gemara, Lafuke Orchim Yedei Chavasam. Shul would have certain people that would live there, guests. The Achlo Veshasu would Ganu, they would eat and sleep, they would eat and drink and sleep. Bebei Kenishta. And as Toysavis, the third Toysavis asked, wow, in a Beis HaKnesses, you're not allowed to eat, you're not allowed to drink, you're not allowed to sleep. So he explains that every shul would have side rooms. And you know what? Look what Toysavis says in the bottom. He says that the Kiddush was made in the main shul. The Kiddush, see what's Kiddush with Makim Su'udah? The guy that was Makadish, there was no food in the Beis HaKnesses ever. But the people in the side rooms where people would sleep over, they heard it and they had food over there. So they heard Kiddush in the place where they're eating. So they were Yoitzah the Kiddush. Wow. Back inside the Gemara. And the other Shmuel time it. The Amar Shmuel ain't Kiddush El Makim Suda. Chavrech, there's so much Chasidus on this. Kiddush Kedusha normally means to remove yourself. And Chanami Kedusha comes from abstinence. Now some people think that oh, so the more you remove yourself, at Sadik and Pelts, the more holy you are. No, says Chasidus. We're the goal is to bring the Shechina down here. Suda is Oylam Hazav Umaest. Eat, engage with people, and in the Makim of Sauda, behave like a Yid. You should act holy amongst in the meal. That's Dida Betachtoinim. If you're being holy, but you're, you know, you're so removed from Oyelam Haza, that, that's not what the Eivishter wants. That's not, that's not called Kedusha. God has enough Malachim in the heavens. Right. So, I mean, hey, now. The Talmidim thought regarding Shita Shmuel, now we're speaking about the moving locations. Hanamil, Mabais, Labais. 
That what? That when do we say that if you move, you make Kiddush in one house, and you have a Su'udah in the other house, that is where we say, ah, that the Kiddush is not valid, because the Kiddush was not B'makim Su'udah. Ah, vol B'makim, B'makim Echad Beisah, we're Zelik. Oh, this is one of the gears. We're going to have different gears as an Amad Beis. But if you are in the same house, but you had, let's say, a bottom floor and a top floor, whatever, two rooms. There's, the Rashbam says two stories, because Nabak, the whole house was one room. Two rooms in one house, who had that? That was two stories. But two rooms in one house, if you made Kiddush in one room, and you have the meal in the other room, you were Yoytzeh, because it's in the same house, says the Gemara, Loi. I'm a second, that's what they thought. Loi, you don't have to repeat Kiddush. That's what they thought. But Markham Su'udah means, as long as it's in the same house, it's good. Amar lohu rav'anan bar tachlifa, I want you to know that Zimnin Sagin, many times, I was standing in front of Shmuel, and Kiddush was made when Shmuel was upstairs, the meal was downstairs, Shmuel would come downstairs to be in the same room of the food. Not enough to be in the same house. The Nachlis me and only then me Kaddish. And under the that, the Kiddush Bamakim Su'udah is not only in the same house, it has to be in the same room. Now, in the same room itself, I don't care if the room is as big as King Solomon's uh, banquet hall or the Kiddush Hashlucham's banquet hall, if you are in the same room, then you're good. Mipina lapina, for sure you're good. Mecheder lecheder is not good enough. Va'af rafun and abuk. Huh? You have to have for sure. Yes, correctly. You have to hear. But if Shleima Arowitz mach kiddush, everyone will hear Shleima. Right now, va'af rafunam sovar that ain't kiddush malakim suudam. How do I know that Rafuna subscribes to Shita Shmuel because the Rafuna kiddush once he made kiddush and he was planning to eat. Guys, Kiddush Ramakim Su'udah, this is so important. If I made Kiddush, where there's food, for whatever reason, I did not eat, I have to make Kiddush again. It's not just B'makim Su'udah, I have to eat. Now what happened? He made Kiddush, and then V'isakar Le Shragam, the lamp fell, the lamp became extinguished, and he didn't want to eat in the dark. So what did he do? So So he moved. He moved his kalim. That means he moved his food. He moved his meal. What happened? His son, Rabbah, got married. In those days when a chasam kala got married, if you think weddings are expensive now, they would build for the chasam kala a house. Or they would rent out a house for seven days. And that was called the chup of the chasam kala. Seven days uh, a celebration. So he Nerebach, needed some quiet or he needed some rest. So he was planning to eat by himself. The light, the light went out. So he moved his kalim lebeginane to the chupa house of his son Raba. And why did he move in there? Because to have a shiraga, because there was a fire that was lit up. And you know what he did? He needed to make kiddush again. And the kaddish, and then the ta'im midi. Why did he have to make kiddush again? It's a haraya that Rafuna subscribes to Shmuel al makasavar in kiddush el b'makim suuda gavaldik. The af Raba savar in kiddush b'makim suuda. How do we know that Tarabo also holds like that? Because to Amar Abaya, Ki Havina Beimar, when I was in the house of my master, master of Abaya is Rabba. Rabba raised him, he was his stepfather, and Abba was his Rebbe. Ki Hava Mekadosh, when Rabba wished to make, uh, when, when he was going to make Kiddush, Omar Lani would tell us, so, no, oh, so like Hasidim, they, they go to the Rebbe to hear Kiddush, and then they go home. Now they were Talmidim, they had no one in their houses. So when they heard Kiddush of Rabba, if they would not eat with Rabba, since Rabba holds Ein Kiddush Elba Markim Su'uda, Rabba would eat. But if the Talmidim would not eat, they would not be Yoytze Kiddush. So Rabba would tell us, Omar Lan Ti'imu Midi Es Epis. Because Dilma Ada Azlisu Le Oshpiza, by the time you come back to your dorm room, if you're not going to eat here, it means you're going to have to make Kiddush again. Now many people say, so I'll make Kiddush again. Another cup of wine. No, because he knew that in the dorm, everything was, you know, B quality, C quality, D quality. In the dorm from Yeshiva Bachrim, the candles over there were the worst candles. He says, when you're going to come back to the dorm, it could be Ms. Akra Luchushraga, the candles will, will not be lit. They, cheat, they were cheap on the wax. And if you're not going to eat here, and Kiddush or Rakim Suda, you're going to have to make Kiddush over there. Now, they had food in the dorm, but if you call that food. But the problem is the way the Mardchai learns that you're not allowed to make Kiddush in the dark. By the time you're going to come back to the dorm, it's going to be Bakhvalai Mikadush Luchuba Beis Achila. You won't be able to make Kiddush there because it's going to be finstead in the dormitory. And the Bikidush of the Hachalay Nafkis. And if you won't eat just because you heard my Kiddush, Rabbi said you won't be Yoitzi. Because the Ain Kiddush, Allah Makim Su'uda. So even though Rav and Shmuel, right, Hilchasekarav be Isura, Shmuel was the master in Mamoina. 
Here, oh, everyone held like Shmuel. And fast, because Gemara Rabba concurred with Shmuel. That cannot be. Amy, because didn't Abaya teach us the following rule? Call Mila Damar. My master Rabba. Rav, uh, guys, uh, Rav and Shmuel, they argued everything. So, so Rabba had a klal. He always paskened like Rav. Only three cases he paskened like Shmuel. This is not from the three cases. Rabba always paskened like Rav. What are the three exceptions? Only in the following three did he paskan like Shmuel. Did Rabbi concur like Shmuel? Guys, we just learned this not that long ago. Number one, if tzitzis, the, the fringes is on one garment and the garment is used out and I have a nice, new, beautiful, four-cornered garment, but I want to move the tzitzis, the fringes, from one garment to the new garment. Rav holds that it's disrespectful to garment A. You got to leave it on it. If you can't use the garment, then you dispose of it. By the way, tzitzis doesn't have kedusha. It's called tashmishay mitzvah, not tashmishay kedusha. Tashmishay kedusha is only when you have the letters, the holy letters written on it, which is say for Torah, Tzilah, and Mezuzah. He said everything that's mishamish that, like abima, tashmishay kedusha. Tzitzis is called tashmishay misha. You can, it doesn't have to have geniza. You can't be noig minig bizoyin. You can't throw out your tzitzis in the garbage. You have to put it in a bag and put it in the garbage. Bottom line is, Machlekes Rav and Shmuel, he paskined that, uh, like Shmuel, that you are allowed to remove the fringes of one garment to the other. He did not paskin like Rav. Area number two was, Danny, you taught this, Umad Likin Miner Lener. You can't have Hanor from the Neiris Hanukkah. But can I light one candle of the Hanukkah directly from the other candle of the Hanukkah? Machlekes Rav and Shmuel. Rav says no, Shmuel says yes. That's the second exceptional case where Rav followed Shmuel. Third case is when it comes to the whole uh, when it comes to the whole din of Dava She'en Eschavet on Shabbos, like when I'm dragging my bench in my backyard and it might make a furrow in the ground. It's not psik resha. Rab, Rabbi Yehuda holds it's asam mid Rabbanon. Ah, you don't intend to make a furrow. So what? You might make a furrow. Shmuel holds Dava She'en Eschavet, and if it's not psik resha, it's muta lachatchila. Rav paskins like Rabbi Yehuda. Um, uh, uh, Shmuel paskins like Rab Shimon. Rabba paskins like Shmuel, like Rab Shimon. The halachi can Rab Shimon be great at dragging a bench. The tiny Rab Shimon, Oymer, goyder Adam, a person is allowed to drag either a bed or a chair or a, a bench, right? Mita kisa the safsil on Shabbos. Ubobachabo yishavon las is chiritz. So these are only three exceptions. Now you're telling me you are that you know that Rabba told the yeshiva bachim. Ain kiddush alav bachim seuda. But isn't this a fourth exception? Why isn't this not mentioned? This should be a fourth exception. So the Gemara gives a beautiful answer. No, no, no. When do we say that he always paskin like Rav and not like Shmuel, aside of the three exceptions where Rav was the machmer? Then he always paskin like Rav. And then three exceptions. Rav says, don't move the tzitzis. He says, you could. Rav says, don't drag the bench. You could. Rav says, don't light the Hanukkah candle from one, from one Hanukkah lichtala to the other. He paskins leniently. But in our machloikas, Kiddush Rav so the guys, who is the who is the makel? Rav is the makel. Rav says that loy boye Kiddush Rav Makim Suda. Shmuel is the machmer. Oh, when it came to our machloikas, where Shmuel was the machmer, Rabba paskent in many cases like Shmuel, not only in three. Beautiful. Now we had two shitas. So Atkan, guys, was the sugi of Kiddush Rav Suda. Now, in the final Amid, we're going to move on to the first statement that Rav made. Rav said that, that Yedei Yayin Lo Yatsu. Shmuel concurred with Rav. If you make a Boyer Priyagofen, yes, Kiddush related, not Kiddush related. You made a Boyer Priyagofen. You did not make a Alagefen. You did not make a Me'engim. And you went to a new location. Rav holds Shmuel holds. Moving a place, Shinui Makoim, is a Hesachadas, equal to. When you're, gonna, when you're gonna drink more wine in the new location, it's like you're beginning a new drinking session. You have to make another boy de Rabbi Yechelen disagrees. Three lines before the bottom of the Rabbi Yechelen Amar. If he didn't say main shalosh. We're gonna get twice of us in a moment. Good, I'm happy you pay. So Yakir asked, what about, what about the Al Hagefen? We're gonna learn twice of us in a moment. Big machloikas. But let's focus on the bracha prior. The Rabbi Yechelen Amar, Afi de Yain Amiyatsu. Ooh. Rabbi Yechenon says that even though you may move the location, it's not called a Hesach Hadas. Now, if you're Masiach Das, if you drank wine and you decided, Ad Khan, that's it, I drank my four cups, the Rebbe Gezakt, I'm under 40, then you have to make a new brach. If God forbid you break the Gezade of the Rebbe. 
But moving location by wine is not called a problem. Ah, who, what's it called? The, the, the people that like drinking wine. There's a name for them. The connoisseurs, some French, if I grew up the word. So if you're drinking wine, and then you're drinking a new type of wine. Here in LA, you know. In Brazil, you never know. It's red, it's red or white. So from red to white. Or the Cabernet, Meta Merlot. Do you have to make a new bracha? If you're Mishana the Yayin, do you have to make a new bracha? So says everyone, the name of Rabbi Yechanan, that when you change wines, Dafkuf Allah from the base, Ve'echot Shinui Makoim, or if you change locations, Ein Sarech Levarech, as long that Ashbam adds, as long as you did not decide to end the drinking. It means if you have Hesach Hadas, you decided Atkan, even though you didn't make an Allah Geffen, you have to make a new Bracha Rishayna, but if you didn't make Hesach Hadas, just because you changed locations, Shinui Makoim is not like a Hesach Hadas. Rav and Shmuel say yes, Rabbi Yechenen say Lakula, no. Says the Gemara Meisvei, says in the Braisa, Shinui Makoim Tzarech Levarech. Clearly, Shinui Yayin Eng Tzarech Levarech. A Braisa, a Tana. And indeed, indeed, Teyufta the Rabbi Yechenen Teyufta. So true, when you change different types of wines, Rabbi Yechenen is correct. The Braisa Fakert, the Braisa backs him up. But in this Machleka Samarim, Rabbi Yechenen didn't know of this Braisa. Rabbi Yechenen is not going to argue with the Braisa, so indeed, Shinui Makoim demands for you to make a new Bracha Rishayna. Says the Gemara, Yosef Rav Idi Bar Oven Kamei Rav Chiz, and the Yosef Rav Chiz of Kamei in the name of Rav Huna. Guys, halk up. Hod Amrat, this that we just learned in the Braisa, that refuted Rabbi Yechenen, that Shinui Makoim, you have to make a new Bracha. Ooh. Now guys, look at the star, and where's Zelig over here? It's not that, that you have no idea how much this shinoi of Girsa affects the halacha. But let's read the way our version has it, not the way you have it in the star in the side. That loy shanu ella mi bias la bias. Yes, if I went from one house to another house, even though I have no hesachadas, I have to make a new bracha prior. Avo bimakim la makim. But if in the same house, Again, in those days where the houses were small, every story was just one room. You went, that's the mushal in the Rashbam, you went from the lower story to the upper story, from the upper story to the lower story, or in a house, you went from one cheder to the other. With all of the pratim that you have in Kufayin Ches and Shulchan Aruch. You can't see from one location into the other. Okay, if you changed a room in the house, this happens so often. Then loy. Then you don't have to make another bracha rishayinu. How great is that? That means that if you go to the restroom today in your house, now there are many other details in halacha regarding shinui makam. I just want to give you one of the nuances that we'll have it soon in the Gemara itself, is that if we are eating with a group, and at least one member of the group is still by the table, that's a lot better. Which will allow us to come back and to continue eating without any brachas problems because the meal went on. Versus a yachid or a group that everyone left, that will be another very important nuance. These things are mamash halacha lamaisa. But let's learn the Gemara. Okay, so I'm a lay rabbi about oven. Hachi tanin and lay masnisa. Exactly what you said is written explicitly in a brayso that was either taught in the day in the yeshiva of a Jew by the name of Rav Hinak. Other people say that this was taught in a brayso that was taught in the day in the yeshiva of Bar Hinak. Like you, that this chumra. Uh, that Shinui Makim demands a new bracha is only me is only me bias la bias and not me makim la makim. Now again, guys, there's another whole girsa over here. And that is more leniently. And that holds uh, more chamur. That you when you go from cheder to cheder, you do have to make a new bracha. The only time you don't have to make a bracha is if you go me pina lapina in the same room. That's huge. But let's go with the gear so we have in the Gemara. So asks the Gemara if what Rav Huna said is written explicitly in Abraisa, so who needed Rav Huna? But in Amoira, he's not adding anything. But he's telling us something that the Tanoim already, no one argued. It's not that there's a Machlik, is Tanoi. So you need to have an Amoira that takes a side, answers the Gemara, Rav Huna Masnisa, that was not common. He never heard of the Braisa. And Baruch Shekivanta to the Braisa. Furthermore, another qualification to the Brisa's Chumrah that refuted Rabbi Yechanan, that Shinui Mokoim, yes, 
does demand a bracha. So Vasu Yosef Rav Chizda. Now Rav Chizda first quoted in the name of Rav Huna, what we said above. And now Rab Chizda added his own Chiddush. And here we'll start. Guys, listen. Actually, this now will make that the Brisa doesn't even refute Rabbi Yechanan. Like this. When you eat foods and you wrongfully. You picked yourself up and you went out to a new location. Now, I want to add, there's so many layers to this. If when we start a meal, we lechatchila have in mind, I'm eating a little bit over here and I'm going to conclude the meal over there. Which is the ideal way, for example, of making a uh, shalom zacher. Ideally, a shalom zacher is that when you're washing your home, you don't bench in your home. You have in mind to bench in the place of the tinoik. Then at, that's lechatchila. When you come to the new location, you have to have over there at least a kazayis and you bench there. Okay, we're not speaking about that over here. We're speaking about a person that began a meal. They had no kavana in the beginning to change locations. And they changed locations. Are you obligated to come back or not? It's very important in him. So let me tell you, we're learning Gemara Rashbam. There are so many different opinions. All of these shitas are also brought down by the Alter Rebbe. The Alter Rebbe brings down many opinions over here. It depends what type of bracha achroine is needed. For boyd and afashois, you need not come back to your location. So if you ate a steak and you forgot to make a baruch achreina, it's always better to make it in the place where you ate, and you are out there, stop, make a baruch achreina and keep on going. You don't have to come back. According to the Rashbam, not only by bread, not only by grain products, mezoinus, but any food that demands a baruch me'ein gimel, al ha'aretz, Al Hagefen and Al and for sure Birchas Hamazin, you must return to your location. However, if you did not return to your location and you did continue to eat of that food in your new location, then you can bench in your new location. What's the time period? The time period is the time that it takes you to walk four mil, which is for 72 minutes. And then really in Shulchan Aruch, there's a whole machloik, is, is that only when you had a meal, do you have 72 minutes to bench? Because until then the food did not begin to digest. What happens if you have just a little bit of food? Then many, 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 uh, even in halacha say, then you have to bench much earlier. It's, just, it's, very, it's very complex to paskin so quick. But generally people know the 72 minutes, which is correct. So back over here. So now Rab Chizda says like this, that you know when you say that Shini Mokim demands a new bracha prior, only only if you don't have to return back to the original place, which is, according to the Rashbam, Why? It makes sense, because then when you leave, it's called an interruption. Why is it called an interruption? Because since you don't have to go back to the, to the first location, nor do you have to eat in the new location to make a Bayer Nefashis, you don't have to eat anything, so your meal ended. If you now want to eat Vaitir or want to drink Vaitir, uh, then, uh, then, then you have to make a new bracha. But Rabbi Yechnan was speaking about wine, according to the Rashbam. Wine, avol dvarim hatu unin bracha lachrein b'mekoyman, which according, let's say, to the Rashbam, it includes wine. In other words, according to the Rashbam, Rabbi Chizda is taking away the teyufta from Rabbi Yechnan. Look into it, it's so logical. How did you interrupt your meal? If I drink wine, according to the Rashbam, and then I went to your house, either I have to come back to where I ate, so I'm still connected, I have to come back, I'm connected to my Sa'udah, or I have to keep on consuming wine, which means I didn't stop the drinking. I have to consume new wine to make a Baruch HaKhreina in the new location. So my meal is not interrupted. If my meal is not interrupted, I don't need to have a Baruch prior. Ain't Sarech Levarech. And my Tama Lekiva Kama Hadir, he's returning to his original setting. Now, either it means, again, technically, that you physically have to go back to your setting, or it means you have to eat more to make a bracha achreina. Eating more, how? Behem to your first sauda. So you are always connected to your original setting. That halachic connection does not allow Shinimokim to be a Yasechadaz. However, Rabsheshis argues. And he says, Echod zeva, Echod zeva, I'm sorry. Even if you have to come back to your original location. Even if not for that, you have to drink in your new location. You have to make a new bracha prior. Now, now, 
Um, okay, let's go right there. I want to ask you Yakir's question and choices, but let's keep it a little, little bit further. We have a few more minutes. Meisvei. Now, machlekes rabchizan abshesh is very important. Can abchizan saying that any food item, which halachically, if you left your current location, you went to a new location, you will have to return to your original location to make a barach achreino. That keeps you connected to the original location. It keeps you connected to the Sauda. And that will bring a, lenient, a leniency. If you will have more of that food in the new location, you don't have to make a bracha prior. So holds Rabchizna. Now again, what food is that? That's another big machlekes. We are following Rashbam that includes all the foods for which benching or a bracha me'engimel. Meisvei Akasha on Rabchizna from Abrais it says, B'nei Chabud, if you have a group, Shehoyim Esubam, that they were reclining. Lishtois, it was very common for people to have drinking meals. Fine, they were just getting together to drink. The old coffee shops were wine shops, and then it's even better for your mind. Wine. Who? For Akhrenal Game, Lot says, and they, they uprooted their feet. Uprooting their feet is mashma that what they did is not correct. But they had a justification because they went to greet a chasen or uh, against a kawa. All of this is araya. If I'm, if I'm eating a meat, I don't need an excuse to leave. I can leave and make a brach achrein over there. It's mashma, we're speaking about that we're eating a food that really, if you leave, you have to come back. But they needed to leave because there was a mitzvah. So it says, When they leave, They are not required before they leave to recite a bracha achreina. That's the pshat here. They don't have to make a bracha prior to leaving. And when they return, They don't have to make a new bracha prior before they continue to eat. Ha, ah, however, no, it's not, it's not an interruption. But here comes what we mentioned before by heart, that at least one member of the original group stayed in that location. Now, if you lich ras chasen, chutzpah, everyone should have greeted the chasen. Everyone should have greeted the kala. Again, this is just explaining why it happened. If one was old, if one was ill, or if someone was not old or ill, if someone remained, if no one old was, le- no one, no one stayed, and they left when they come back to unim bracha lemafreya. Really, before they left, they should have made a alagefen. Al- al- Number two, kishehim choizrim, and when they return to unim bracha lechatchila. And this is the big Toysavis. Toysavis writes in the bottom for Yakir's question, four lines for the bottom of the Amit, that if they left and they didn't make an Alamichyo, Alagefen, you see, Yakir, they didn't make an Alagefen, they should have. Right. And they came back. Now we're saying that they have to make a new bracha prior. So your question is, what about a bracha achreina? Big machlekes. Toysavis holds, Toysavis holds. Kishiyachzuru lo yivarchu rak birchas hamoitzi. We're speaking about hamoitzi, the kula alma. You only make a bracha prior, and the bracha achreina you make at the end will be for both. So old stasis. Now I want to read inside the kasha. Me the tani. Let's finish the question. Me the tani. That why did the brayse say they left because an excuse because it was a chasam kala? It must be that the brayse is speaking about the bedvarim hatuuna bracha lachreim emukayim maskinen. Speaking about foods that you may not make a bracha achreina anywhere. You have to make it in the original location. Oh, and now v'tamad the nichosham zakan and chayla. That is where we say that Hashem yoitzim neither. You don't have to make a bracha limafreya, meaning you don't have to make a bracha achreina prior to leaving, nor when you come back, you don't have to make a bracha prior to continuing the meal. Avalei nicho shom zakin. Oichayla, the brayser seems to be saying befedish against Rab Chizda. Kishahem yoitzim tonim bracha limafreya, and and if they didn't make a, a, a bracha achreina, they didn't make, they left wrongfully, but when they come back. They have to make a bracha lechatchila. That's mamish akasha on Rab Chizda. So ubelaz ubeloshen amzara in English. A cliffhanger will answer the question tomorrow to be continued.